So when we study yin yang and qigong, we look at all these patterns of life, you know, uh, the, the, the yin yang ball and the, the polarities in there. So we look at, oh yeah, okay, this is the attraction, it's a repulsion. In any relationship with a man, woman, there's going to be like a sense of like dominance, control, right? Mm -hmm. Anyone say, okay, and it's a dance. Is it going to work? That moment's going to slip that we've decided that we're not going to be together, build a life together. So it's, it's a very tenuous dance, and keeping in the center, as we know, you know, it's not a, a constant. So with the practice of this, this Qigong, we try and remain a constant so we can look out. We can participate and we can come back. A lot of um, yoga practitioners, they haven't quite touched that energy aspect of yoga, you see, and that net is just part of evolution. So the form is called Qigong. In fact, yoga itself has an intrinsic energetic form, which is dhyana yoga, meditation, you know, and, and raja yoga. So the best, I, I feel that in the deepening of yoga, yogic practitioners could go back to that basic and connect with the chi, the spirit of yoga not just the asanas. And, well, what's beautiful about the, the Qigong yoga connection is the cross-cultural. That I find really beautiful, you know, because it's, we are recognizing two different systems of the same thing, which is energy connection, right? And yoga is already there, it's just deepening it. And the same as, as Qigong, you know, we just have to deepen it. Qigong to Tai Chi, a lot of Tai Chi is empty movement anyway. Form, real form dependent, and rather than the chi. So practitioners of Tai Chi constantly practice practicing the form, but not connecting with the chi. Yeah, and then going on to martial arts and, and movement dance. So the cultural aspect I find very interesting, and also qigong tends to be softer, right? Even though they're martial arts, and yoga is linear. It's very linear yoga, and then it, it needs. It's the same opposing forces I was telling you about, that wants to be whole, that wants to be one. So that, like the Eastern and Western approach, the yoga and qigong is wanting to come together, both culturally as well energetically, and form and inform, linear and softer.